Hello, hi, happy Wednesday, how are you? I hope you're good. Uh, today I have a small book haul. I have four physical books and I think two ebooks that I want to share with you today that I have purchased, been gifted recently, found recently that I just I want to share with you because I'm really excited about these books and um, let's just get started. The first book that I have here is actually not technically for me though I'm probably going to read it before I give it to the person that I got it for. Um, I bought this book for my sister and I should have already gave it to her but I've, I've had it for a couple days because I want to read it so I'm probably going to read it and then give it to her which is I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's for my sister. Um, the Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. Um, this is a horror novel that I've just been hearing so much about recently and this follows I believe a couple native characters as they are being stalked by this entity and I don't know anything more than that but it says that these childhood friends are helpless as the culture and traditions they left behind catch up to them in a violent and vengeful way and um, on my mom's side of the family were, were native and my sister has this giant library of just um, a lot of nonfiction on natives and um, she reads fiction, you know, of natives as well, but not not as much. So I think this is something that she could really like and get into. So she's really excited for me to give this to her too. When I told her about it, she's like, yes, give it to me now. So I'm really excited to give this to her and also to read it myself. If you want me to review this book, let me know because I definitely would like to. It's just, I've heard so much great things about this book. Um, moving on, I went to Barnes & Noble the other day with Albert and I... I saw these books on the shelf. I didn't even know that they were a thing, that they were in existence, and I tried to buy them, but then he grabbed the books from me and then he bought them, so he bought the books for me. He bought these three books for me and I can't believe him. Uh, he bought me, oh, what are these called? Of Blood and Bone. I believe it's a trilogy. Is it more? I'm not sure, but it's by John Gwynn. It's three giant books. Now, if you have been paying attention to what I've read recently, I'm currently reading Malice by John Gwynn, and I'm so in love with that book. I can't even, like, uh, so in love. I love it so much. Um, I only have like 200 pages left, and then I'm done with the book, and then there are three other books in the series um, called The Faithful and the Fallen. It's fan fantasy. It's wonderful. It's great. Well, I saw these books at the store and I think it is set in the same world, um, but I don't know if it follows the same characters. Probably not. Um, so the books themselves, we have A Time of Dread. A Time of Dread. Look at that. And it's big and it's floppy. I love floppy books. Uh, that is book one. Book two is called A Time of Blood. Look at these covers. These covers are just epic. They're just so cool. They just grab your attention and they say, hey, read me. I'm going to. Um, next I have, or lastly, I have A Time of Courage, all by John Gwynn, by the way. Um, this book is massive. It is so huge. This is the biggest one. And oh, look at that cover. Look at that cover. It's so cool. Anyway, so after I finish reading all of the books in Malice, I will then read these books. And I just can't tell you how, exci how excited I am to have a fantasy series to just binge through. So excited. I'm so excited. All I want to do is read all of the books in the Malice series. So if that's all my content is for the next, you know, couple months, I'm sorry, but I just want to read all of the books in the series. It's just, I'm having so much fun. I love fantasy. I need to read more fantasy. And so I'm going to. Um, moving on to, I have some Kindle books that I got recently. The first one that I want to share with you that I got on Kindle Unlimited, don't laugh at me. I, I'm just curious. I want to read this because of curiosity, because I heard there's going to be a show possibly, and that is The Selection by Kira Cass. Yes. What do I know about The Selection? I don't really know much. It's young adult, there's a bunch of girls, and, and there's the main character, her name is America, and supposedly she's really annoying. I don't know anything else. And maybe there's a romance and maybe it's dystopian. I don't know. But the, but the cover is interesting because all the girls are wearing dresses. Why are they wearing dresses? What are they doing? What's the selection? What are, what are they being selected for? That's what I want to know. So hopefully I find that out and hopefully it's interesting. And um, if I like the first one, then I'll read the rest of them because I actually also have the whole uh, trilogy from my library as well on my Kindle. So if I I like it I can read the entire series and maybe I can review it because honestly I would love to share my thoughts with you because I have a feeling it'll be 
fun just to talk about because I hear that it's entertaining but I also hear that it's kind of bad so we'll see what I think I don't know the other book that I have that I want to talk about that I'm also really really excited for is that I've been trying to read more indie authors but then not only that I've been trying to look for more authors uh, from people of color just to expand uh, my reading because I read a lot of books that are just by white guys to be honest you know that's the majority of what I read and I mean that's fine read what you want but I do think it's important to be shedding light to other people so that's what I'm trying to do. So I have By Sea and Sky by Antoine Bandel, I believe is the author and this is the first book in a pirate series from what I can tell um, a lot of the ratings are just praising the book and it seems to be just a story about pirates and the main character is this woman who I think is trying to get back her husband maybe or I don't know exactly I like to get into I like to go into these books without knowing too much so all I know is that it's about pirates and I'm sold and maybe honestly this isn't really broadening my horizons because all I read is about pirates but but you know like I'm, I'm trying to start somewhere so I'm reading this soon hopefully and then I can review it and I believe the second book is coming out later this year so hopefully I can purchase that as well um, but yeah I just wanted to throw that out there if you want to support an indie author as well this book seems really great and there's pirates just saying so that's my book haul I didn't really have a lot but I just wanted to share with you some of the stuff I picked up recently I would love to know what you've bought recently um, do you have any book recommendations by indie authors I'm trying to read as much indie as I can so that I can put out more reviews for indie authors because I just I just want to right now so if you have recommendations let me know um, that being said I think that's all I have to say so I think I'm just gonna go um, I'll see you later bye